Greetings, fellow horror aficionados and Silent Hill enthusiasts. Today, we're stepping back into the fog-shrouded streets with Silent Hill. The short message, a prologue that promises to rekindle our love for psychological horror. But does it deliver on that promise, or does it get lost in the fog? Let's find out. Released on January 31, 2024, for the PlayStation 5 Silent Hill. The short message marks a return to the series' roots, diving deep into the psychological horror elements that define Silent Hill. Set in the fictional city of Kettenstadt, Germany, this bite-sized adventure introduces us to Anita, an 18-year-old girl caught in a nightmarish loop within an abandoned apartment building known as the Villa. From the get-go, the short message immerses you in an atmosphere of decay and despair, a theme Silent Hill fans will find all too familiar. The narrative, while short, is dense with the series' hallmark psychological twists and turns, drawing inspiration from the likes of Silent Hill 2. Through texts from classmates and environmental clues, we piece together a story of bullying, guilt, and redemption. The narrative's strength lies in its ability to make us question what's real, with Anita serving as an unreliable narrator whose perspective skews the truth until it unravels before her. Gameplay-wise, the short message takes a cue from modern survival horror with its first-person perspective, a choice that will undoubtedly divide fans. While it adds intimacy to Anita's terror, the clunky controls during chase sequences can pull you right out of the experience. It's a reminder that while Silent Hill's heart beats strong in this title, the execution isn't without its flaws. Personally, I found the short message to be a hauntingly beautiful nod to Silent Hill's legacy. It's not without its issues the chase sequences and some over-the-top voice acting can detract from the immersion. However, the game's environmental storytelling, coupled with a score that subtly underpins the tension, makes it a journey worth taking. But here's the hot take Silent Hill. The short message feels like a true Silent Hill game, not because it's perfect, but because it captures the essence of what made us fall in love with the series, the ability to confront our fears and the darkness within. It's a promising glimpse into what could be a resurgence for Silent Hill, and I'm here for it. So, what did you think of Silent Hill? The short message? Did it bring back those classic Silent Hill vibes for you, or did you find yourself longing for more? Dive into the comments and share your thoughts. And if you're craving more horror insights and game reviews, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. Personal Opinion Silent Hill the short message serves as a tantalizing appetizer for what's to come in the Silent Hill universe. While it may not satisfy the hunger for a full-fledged Silent Hill experience, it's a step in the right direction, offering a taste of the psychological depth and atmospheric horror we've been craving. Despite its shortcomings, the game's exploration of guilt, bullying, and redemption, set against the backdrop of Silent Hill's trademark otherworldliness, proves that the series still has much to offer. As a fan and critic, I see the short message as a beacon of hope for the future of Silent Hill, signaling that Konami hasn't forgotten what makes this series special. It's a short journey worth taking, not just for the scares, but for the reminder of what lies at the heart of Silent Hill, a reflection of our innermost fears and the chance for redemption. Until next time, remember sometimes, one brave step is all it takes to save a life.